now for another episode of Something Simple. So Father, why do we wear different colors throughout the year? Is it because we get bored with black the rest of the day? Black is what we wear most of the time. We wear different colors at Mass uh, to demonstrate a, the change of the liturgical seasons. And those seasons, the strong seasons, are called Advent and then the time after Christmas. And then we get into Lent and Easter. And then for the rest of the year, we've got the time after Pentecost, right? Now, those seasons we mark with the different colors in order to show that they're changing. And you probably remember that Advent and Lent, we get purple. And for Christmas and Easter, we get white or even gold. Um, for the time after Pentecost, we get green. And for feast days, like feast days of the martyrs or, or of the Holy Spirit, Pentecost. Also on feast days of saints who aren't martyrs, we get white also. Um, but that's basically the color scheme. Then there are a couple special ones in there. Why do we have those colors? Well, actually, it goes all the way back to God describing the worship in the temple. So this is from Exodus chapter 26, when God is telling Moses how to make the tabernacle, the tent of meeting. He says, you shall make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet stuff and fine twined linen. In skilled work shall it be made with cherubim, and you shall hang it upon four pillars of acacia overlaid with gold, with hooks of gold, upon four bases of silver. So very detailed uh, and very precious. I mean, you can imagine these people are walking through the desert, and he's telling them to make dyed cloth um, and to weave it and to decorate it and embroider it and all these things. So he cares a lot about it, apparently. Notice the colors, a veil of blue and purple and scarlet stuff and fine twined linen. In the ancient world, there wasn't much of a distinction between the colors blue and green. Um, so we can recognize green kind of already in there, although it's called blue, but green is, is in there. And then purple and scarlet, so purple and red, and twined linen would be white. So the four colors that we use for our liturgical vestments are already present 3,000 years ago in Amazing. the tabernacle. What do the colors mean? Maybe this could be something that's, that's really useful for, you know, okay, so he makes us wear these different colors and we keep doing it even though we're not going to worship in the Jewish temple anymore. Um, we do this because the colors actually remind us of what we're doing at any particular time. White and gold, obviously, are celebratory. Very high festivity, right? We're, we're happy and we're celebrating Christmas and Easter, feast days of the saints. Red, obviously, for the martyrs, um, commemorates the blood they shed to remind us that Christ shed his blood as the pattern of our witness on earth. And through the shedding of our blood, even if it should come to that, by the giving of our lives, we hope for a great reward in heaven. Purple, in particular, as we're starting this Advent, purple reminds us that we're doing penance. Purple reminds us that we're doing penance because the way we prepare as Christians for anything spiritually is to do penance. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. You know, the, the good works that prepare our souls to receive the good things God wants to give us. John the Baptist comes before Jesus and he says, repent. That's the, that's the way we get ready to receive the gospel. So during Advent and Lent, as we're getting ready for Christmas and Easter, we do penance, and the purple reminds us of that. That's also why the priest wears a purple stole when he anoints people, when he hears their confessions, when he exercises anything. I think especially in this time of Advent, it's a good, good point just to uh, remind people. One of the problems when the Holy Family came to Bethlehem was that they didn't have room for them. And this preparation of penance does make it so that we have room for Christ in our life when we celebrate Christmas. When we see Christ in our neighbor in giving the, to those in need, um, we are allowed to do that even first by putting ourselves second through self-denial, some, some penance, but then also that it is done out of love. So I, do, I, I grow in that love by spending time in prayer, talking to the beloved who is God himself.